because he trains at the Mariposa Club north of Toronto in Barrie, Ontario. Takeshi Honda. And he has made dramatic improvement in his skating over the last two years. biggest improvement he's made to his skating is noticeable right off the top in the way he carries his upper body and uses his arm. Takeshi is planning to open with a quad toe loop. Landed it for the first time ever in a short program just over a month ago. Here it comes. Beautiful. That was so good it looked like a triple. Perfect. Next combination, triple axle, triple toe. There's the triple axle, double toe on the end. Takeshi says that he's loving skating again now that he's training in Barrie, Ontario with Doug Lee. He said in Japan he found it was work, 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 work. He said there was no laughing and no high-fiving. Very happy to be skating in Barrie. Nice double axle. That was brilliant. It also included the quadruple jump. Takeshi Honda, just 18 years old, a meteor in men's skating. He has been such a rising star, he has already arrived. We talk about Plushenko being at such a high level in skating. Takeshi Honda will be challenging him with a program like that, with a quad like that in the short program. As you said, Rod, it looked like a triple. It was so easy. Great height and the speed and control on that landing. That's as good as it gets. That may be the best quad I've ever seen performed. Here's his triple axle. Now, you can see he was leaning a bit forward on the landing. Didn't feel comfortable enough on that landing to add the triple toe. He's going to need that to beat Plushenko. What I found most impressive, as well as the quad, actually, was the way he used his arms throughout the program. Very natural. Often the skaters are told to use the arms in a certain way, and it looks mechanical. Not with Takeshi. Comfortable, fluid. Takeshi will be battling it out with Evgeny Plushenko and Alexei Yagudin, who is in this competition. Plushenko is not here. But how about these young teenagers who not only have the jumps, they have the goods, but they also have tremendous artistry at such a tender age. And they also have a very interesting stuffed animal. <laughs> Takeshi, he's a character. Nice young man. He is a champion in waiting. He is one of the greatest pair skaters ever. When you look down teams and down the list, you rarely mention the name Artur Dmitriev, but maybe that's because he skated with two different partners. Here are the 1998 
Olympic champions, Oksana Kazakova and Artur Dmitriev. The Chinese pair had clean side-by-side -side triple toes. And so do Oksana and Artur. Coming up, throw triple toe. Tracy, there does not appear to be much rust on the Olympic champions after a couple of years away from Olympic eligible skating. That's what experience will do for you, Rod comfortable in any environment. It's a different story if you have been a professional skater for five or six years. You're totally out of the mindset of doing a short program. These two recently removed, they can draw on their past experience. The Olympic pairs champions from Nagano, Japan. Back at the Japan Open in a pro-am, Oksana Kazakova and Artur Dmitriev. Here are Oksana Kazakova and Artur Dmitriev, second after the short program. To ensure that the interpretive free is more than just a technical exercise, they have limited some of the moves in the program. Maximum number of lifts is three. One throw jump is allowed. No triple jumps are allowed. One jump sequence or combination. One solo spin. Choice of music is unrestricted. Pair team has never landed a throw quad before. They will attempt one now. Throw quad toe. Oh. oh. Very close. They attempted it at the World Professional Champions and were close to landing it there. Side double axles coming up. Those are the most difficult jumps that they're allowed to do in this competition in the interpretive free.
that spectacular move, a carry not allowed in Olympic eligible competition. But it is moves like that that sets this team apart from others. Artur Dmitriev and partner Oksana Kazakova, the Olympic champions, and like so many of the Europe... Takeshi Honda on the ice, his gregarious coach, Doug Lee from the Mariposa Club in Barrie, has helped Takeshi a lot, but Takeshi has helped himself a lot as well. Now he is one of the stars in Japan, one of the stars in men's skating. Takeshi in second place after the short program.